Li Jiang Hyuk is rushed to the hospital and cared for by a pretty nurse named Da Yoon. A weekend Hyuk tells her that he got seriously sick after working hard on passing a test for a major engineering job. Hyuk not only passed the test but also got the job. Da Yoon assures him that he will be alright. Hyuk is suffering from hepatitis B, and other patients around him start to believe that it might be contagious. Hyuk's parents come to see their sick child, but they also start to wonder if Hyuk's disease is contagious. They avoid any physical contact with Hyuk. Soon, Hyuk gets messages from his close friends. They will not be coming to see him, as they don't want to get this disease themselves. Da Yoon lets every other patient know that hepatitis isn't contagious, and Hyuk would be perfectly normal after some days. She is extremely nice to Hyuk, and she even kisses his IV bag so that Hyuk can be relieved of all the stress on him. Hyuk goes for a walk at night and finds Da Yoon in the hallway, smoking a cigarette. Da Yoon tells Hyuk that she isn't allowed to smoke in front of the head nurse. Da Yoon also rants about how she has to work an eight-hour shift every single day. Hyuk notices a ring on Da Yoon's finger, to which Da Yoon says it's her graduation ring. Soon, the head nurse arrives, and Da Yoon blames the smoking on Hyuk to avoid getting herself in trouble. The following day, Da Yoon apologizes to Hyuk for putting the entire blame on him, as Da Yoon would have got a pay cut for smoking. Hyuk, who is eating a delicious meal at the moment, watches how Da Yoon starts eating Hyuk's food without his permission. Hyuk doesn't seem to mind it at all. Da Yoon promises to buy him food later. One night, Da Yoon gets so tired that she decides to take a power nap on Hyuk's bed. Hyuk starts to become attracted to Da Yoon and even shares it with his friends. Hyuk can't get over the fact that a cute girl like Da Yoon is enjoying his presence. Da Yoon catches Hyuk smoking in the hallway, and Da Yoon doesn't take it lightly as Hyuk is still sick with hepatitis. Hyuk leaves a message on his phone for her, in which he swears never to smoke again. Soon, Hyuk begins to call Da Yoon to meet him, thinking that it would be a patient call, but most of the time, Hyuk calls her to read messages he leaves for her, along with something for her to eat. Hyuk would leave oranges for Da Yoon if she happens to be working overnight, or soup if she's tired from working during the day. But for the most part, Hyuk calls Da Yoon so that she can take a nap whenever she feels burnt out. Hyuk even steals expensive macarons from another patient's fridge and gifts them to Da Yoon. While having lunch together, Da Yoon inquires if Hyuk has a girlfriend, to which Hyuk freaks out and says he doesn't. When told by other doctors that he would be discharged in a day or two, Hyuk begins to panic as he doesn't want to leave Da Yoon just yet. He also gets jealous when he sees Da Yoon talking to one of her colleagues very closely. Before he can part ways with Da Yoon, Hyuk plans on giving flowers to Da Yoon. But the entire plan goes awry when the head nurse shows up upon calling Da Yoon. Hyuk is not at all happy to leave the hospital without saying a proper goodbye to Da Yoon or getting her number. When he is with his friends, he eats uncooked meat hoping to get sick and end up in the hospital again. Hyuk is bent on the thought that Da Yoon might be in love with him. Hyuk visits the hospital with the plan of getting Da Yoon's number. Just when he can properly memorize her number, the head nurse arrives and Hyuk has to leave immediately. Hyuk goes back home and tries to remember Da Yoon's number. After trying various combinations with the half number he learned, Hyuk is finally able to make a call to Da Yoon. Hyuk spares no time in acknowledging his likeness for Da Yoon. Da Yoon invites Hyuk to her home as she is completely alone. Hyuk takes his father's car and rushes to Da Yoon's apartment. Hyuk's father gets furious at Hyuk for taking his car without his permission. Hyuk arrives at Da Yoon's apartment and is shy in front of her. Hyuk is nervous to start a conversation. As he gets a bit more uneasy, Hyuk decides to leave, but Da Yoon proposes that he should sleep alongside her for the night. Hyuk does as asked and both have a good night's sleep. The next morning, Hyuk fixes a broken light bulb, takes out the trash, and even prepares breakfast. Da Yoon is moved by Hyuk's efforts to prove that he actually has feelings for her. Da Yoon briefly makes out with Hyuk. For the next couple of days, Hyuk assists Da Yoon in her work and enjoys his new life, although his parents have yet to believe that he is in a relationship. Hyuk is sometimes envious of Da Yoon's colleague, who happens to be around her. Upon asking where her ring is, Da Yoon tells Hyuk that she lost it. Da Yoon has received a vacation package to Jeju Island, and she wants Hyuk to go with her. Hyuk and Da Yoon go to get matching shirts for each other, but are unable to complete the purchase, as Hyuk can't find the right size for himself. Hyuk arrives at the airport for their flight to Jeju Island, and much to his surprise, Da Yoon gifts Hyuk sneakers that match hers. Hyuk is elated, and he promises to lose weight for their next trip to Jeju Island, next Christmas. Hyuk makes good on his promise and loses much of his weight. Hyuk is in a phenomenal physique and looks better than ever. Hyuk and Da Yoon are enjoying their life as usual, and Hyuk seems to be doing good in his job as well. Hyuk is informed by his boss that he has been called up to a much larger corporation in Seoul. Although he is hesitant to leave Da Yoon and his city, Hyuk can't also give up on this huge offer as he believes that it may be good for his career and Da Yoon. Hyuk informs Da Yoon that he can't give up on this offer as it is an amazing opportunity for both of them. Da Yoon is skeptical of Hyuk as she believes that this was something Hyuk should have discussed with her before saying yes. Hyuk surprises Da Yoon with his brand new car. 
He says he was fed up with borrowing his father's car every time, so he decided to get his own. But the main reason Hyuk has bought a new car is that he plans on commuting to Seoul and returning to his and Da Yoon's apartment every single day, as he doesn't want to live without Da Yoon. Hyuk also gifts Da Yoon a new ring, as she lost her old one. Hyuk prepares to leave for Seoul, and while he's on his way, Hyuk watches other people, who are tired of going to work every single day. Hyuk mocks them, as he can't believe how people could be tired of working that much. When Hyuk reaches his new office, he asks one of the workers, where he is supposed to go. The mysterious employee shows Hyuk the way to his office. Hyuk introduces himself to his new bosses, and is also introduced to Bo Young, who would be competing against Hyuk for the permanent job position. Hyuk is livid as he was told by his former boss, that he would be the only one who would be getting the job. He calls his previous boss, who tells Hyuk that he would have to work harder now, in order to prove his worth to the company. Hyuk finds Bo Young to be competitive, and starts thinking of ways how he could finalize his permanent position. Da Yoon advises Hyuk that he should do something that would make the bosses appreciate Hyuk more. Hyuk comes up with the idea of buying everyone coffee in the office, but Bo Young comes in his way, and decides to distribute the coffee to every employee, even when Hyuk doesn't ask for her help. And because of this, Bo Young gets complete credit for it. The entire team in the company is working on creating a design for a new bridge. Bo Young tries everything to mislead Hyuk, and Hyuk even falls for it, which leads to him getting scolded by his boss. Hyuk is getting frustrated by Bo Young, and Da Yoon advises him to one-up on Bo Young the next time she decides to get clever. The time has come for the presentation of the new bridge's design. At first, the entire team is applauded for creating a strong design, but Hyuk interferes the celebration, and says that the bridge might collapse if a tsunami ever hits it. When the tests are run, Hyuk is proven to be right. Hyuk is happy, as he is able to make Bo Young look a little less impressive. The head of the company decides to pair up the new employees, Bo Young and Hyuk, to recreate the design of the bridge, so that the company could know their true capabilities. Hyuk tries his best to tease Bo Young even more, and he is able to gain the upper hand every time. Hyuk hasn't been paying much attention to his work, while Bo Young is working extremely hard, to the point where she refuses to freshen up with some sleep or a bath. Hyuk goes back to his apartment, and can't wait to tell Da Yoon how he was able to make Bo Young look bad in front of the executives. Before he can do so, Hyuk falls asleep, as he is tired of the long commute from his office to the apartment. Hyuk is on his way back to his office the next day, and he notices that his life is becoming just like other people, who he used to mock for overworking themselves. Da Yoon proposes that Hyuk doesn't have to come back to the apartment every single day, as he can come back on the weekends from now on. Bo Young is exhausted from recreating the bridge's design, and she hasn't taken a day off ever since she was paired with Hyuk. They are working late night, when the light goes out. Hyuk tries to find someone who could resolve the problem. He runs into the mysterious employee he met on the very first day. The employee alludes to a worn-out Bo Young, when he advises Hyuk to take advantage of every opportunity that's in front of him. Hyuk tells Bo Young that he is leaving for home, to which Bo Young begins to yell at Hyuk that she has been doing all of the work by herself, and Hyuk hasn't helped even once. Hyuk feels bad for Bo Young, and thinks that he might have gone a bit overboard, when it comes to making Bo Young's work miserable. Hyuk helps Bo Young in recreating the design of the bridge, and both of them are able to create a design that can withstand a tsunami. The bosses applaud the efforts of both, and the company looks forward to having them work on further new projects. During the company dinner, Hyuk hopes to leave early, so that he can meet Da Yoon, while Bo Young drinks way too much alcohol. Hyuk returns back to his apartment, and is tired as usual from the long travel. He doesn't find Da Yoon in the apartment, but later learns from her that her shift was changed, which is why she had to work at night. She also asks Hyuk to change the broken light bulb, but Hyuk is unable to do so as he is extremely fatigued. The next morning at work, the boss appreciates Bo Young and Hyuk even more. He hypes them up and tells them to keep up the good work. Bo Young confesses that she enjoys working with Hyuk, to which Hyuk adds that he feels the same about her. For the next couple of days, both Hyuk and Bo Young work together on a new project, closely with each other. Both of them are enjoying each other's company, but at the same time, Da Yoon is being completely ignored by Hyuk. The employee that has been following Hyuk ever since he arrived at this company, constantly tells him to make a move toward Bo Young. Bo Young seems to have taken a liking to Hyuk. The next project turns out to be even more successful than the last one, and the company executives are happy to have both of them around. Bo Young proposes that they should go for dinner together that night, which Hyuk is absolutely fine with. While they are having a delicious meal, Da Yoon calls Hyuk to check in on him. As he can't say he is having dinner with Bo Young alone, Hyuk lies to her that he is with the entire company at a restaurant. Da Yoon returns home to find that Hyuk hasn't fixed the light bulb she asked him to. While they are working on a brand new project, the light goes out once again, and Bo Young seems to make a romantic advance toward Hyuk, the employee that has been stalking Hyuk, and wants Hyuk to do the same. As he is completely committed to Da Yoon, Hyuk leaves abruptly. Hyuk returns home, and finds Da Yoon in a frustrated mood. She is upset that Hyuk didn't change the light bulb, and that Hyuk always comes home to relax, rather than meet her. 
Hyuk says that he doesn't want to talk at the moment, as he needs some rest, but much to his shock, Hyuk learns that Da Yoon is expecting a child. Hyuk worries for Da Yoon and their future, as he wasn't expecting to have children this soon. Da Yoon visits a doctor, and she finds out that she is indeed pregnant. Hyuk doesn't seem to be too excited over this news, and because of this, he doesn't pay much attention to his work at the office. Hyuk and Da Yoon visit a medical clinic, and both of them make a heart-wrenching decision. Hyuk appears to be completely senseless, but Da Yoon keeps her spirits up, although she is deeply affected by this situation. Hyuk has decided to take some time off from the office so that he can focus on Da Yoon's health. Da Yoon urges him to go to work, as she doesn't need him around. Hyuk follows her commands and heads back to work. Hyuk works till night, and he hopes to get back to Da Yoon as soon as possible, even though the routine of him getting tired by the time he reaches home is the same. Upon asking if he is still interested in going to Jeju Island on Christmas, Hyuk doesn't give a satisfactory answer. Hyuk is getting annoyed by how he has to travel to work on a routine basis, which has been affecting both his work and relationship with Da Yoon. Bo Young seems to be upset with Hyuk, as they were performing quite well over the last few months. Hyuk decides to focus on his work by staying in Seoul a little longer. Soon, both Bo Young and Hyuk regain their charm as a strong pair. While they are shopping, Hyuk completely avoids Da Yoon and doesn't show even the slightest enthusiasm. Before they can drive off to get something to eat, Da Yoon is distraught over the fact that Hyuk has been completely sidestepping her. Hyuk tries to cheer her up, but makes a terrible mistake by calling her Bo Young instead of her actual name. This puts Da Yoon in serious doubt that Hyuk might be having an affair with Bo Young. Upon asking who Bo Young really is, Hyuk asks Da Yoon if she suspects that Hyuk might be having an affair with Bo Young behind her back. Da Yoon cries that both of them had to give up on their child only for Hyuk to go after another woman. Hyuk doesn't want to explain or defend himself, so he decides to leave for Seoul early. Hyuk returns to his work, and when Bo Young tries to get a little close to him, both of them share a romantic kiss. This leads to a much more serious relationship between the two, with Hyuk having to shift his priorities from Da Yoon to Bo Young from now on. Hyuk begins to get reminder messages about the tickets he reserved for Jeju Island, but he doesn't know what to do with them, as he hasn't been in contact with Da Yoon for some time now. The day finally arrives when Bo Young and Hyuk would find out if their jobs have been made permanent, or not. It turns out that the existing permanent employees of the company have been credited with the work of Bo Young and Hyuk. None of them has got a full-time permanent job offer. Hyuk is heartbroken that he didn't get the job and has almost lost Da Yoon. Bo Young says that she's considering going abroad for further studies. Hyuk suddenly remembers his tickets to Jeju Island and decides to fix his relationship with Da Yoon. He grabs the ring that he once gifted to Da Yoon and rushes to the airport. When he watches Da Yoon, he runs towards him, but bumps into another man and falls down. It turns out that there were two Jang Hyuks who were with Da Yoon. One of them was the overweight person, Lee Jang Hyuk, whom Da Yoon tended to at the hospital, and the other one was Jang Hyuk, who was in a serious relationship with Da Yoon. Da Yoon fell in love with Jang Hyuk at the hospital just like Lee. Da Yoon got pregnant when she was with Lee at the hospital, which explains her sudden cravings for food and sudden tiredness. After giving up on her baby, Da Yoon decided to have a relationship with Lee. She later on gave the tickets to Jeju Island to Lee as it was easy, because he shared the same name as Jang Hyuk. Jang Hyuk is numb over the betrayal of Da Yoon, and he returns to Bo Young where he tries to think of the exact moment when his relationship with Da Yoon went completely off the trail. Bo Young has won the tickets to Jeju Island as well, and Jang Hyuk proposes to Bo Young who leaves him too, saying that they aren't there yet. 